Let's have a look at question 5 now. So we have to explain why we're willing to pay a premium that is actually higher than the expected value of the adverse lottery. Meaning, why are we willing to pay more than the expected value of the risk that we're facing? First of all, when we're speaking about willingness to pay, we refer here to maximum willingness to pay. How much are we willing to pay at most? And at most, we said in the previous video, we're willing to pay 475 euros to cover for this risk. But now what is the expected value of this risk? And recall that the risk we're speaking about, the risk we're speaking about is the one where we can lose 900 euros over here. The one where we could lose 900 euros with a probability of 1 over 2. So we have a 1 over 2 probability to lose 900 euros and then the remaining 1 over 2 we lose nothing. So we have 1 over 2 probability to lose 900 euros. So we have a loss of 900 euros plus 1 over 2 times 0. Now 1 over 2 times 900 that would be an expected value of minus 450. So we have an expected loss of 450 euros, but we're willing to pay more for that to insure against the risk. Why are we willing to pay more than the expected value? And to answer this, we have to look at the behavior of the consumer. We have to look at our utility function over here, which is utility equal to square root of n. So if we plot this on our graph, we'll understand why this is the case. If we have the relationship between the utility function and the income and we can plot utility equals to square root of n this is how it would look like it would look like a concave it would look like a concave shape now what this what what is this showing us it shows us the utility is increasing with a decreasing rate with income in other words we have diminishing returns from income on our happiness why because we're not willing to take huge risks huge sacrifices to get more money to increase our happiness because, because our happiness plateaus at a, at a certain point from income. Our happiness does not increase that much with more money that we have. It increases but then it stops increasing as much. That's why it, 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 it flattens out over here on the top. So in other words, to increase our money by taking risks, we are not really willing to do that. So this means that we are risk averse consumers. So we are risk averse consumers. That's why we're willing to pay more uh, than the expected value because we want to have an extra insurance, an extra age so that we are completely certain that we are not going to lose our money since we really don't want to take this risk. Hope this makes sense and we are done.